Welcome to this session where we will discuss definitions, detection, and causes of hypoxemia and hypoxia. When we breathe in, we pull air into our lungs. Room air contains 21% oxygen. When oxygen enters our lungs, it travels to the alveoli where it diffuses from the alveoli into the pulmonary capillaries. Oxygen then binds to the hemoglobin in the red blood cells or diffuses into the plasma. This is called oxygenation. Insufficient oxygenation through this process leads to hypoxemia. The rate at which oxygen is delivered to the tissues and organs of the body is called oxygen delivery. Inadequate oxygen delivery to cells, tissues, and organs is called hypoxia. Every cell in the body requires oxygen for cellular metabolism. Lack of oxygen results in cell death, tissue death, and eventually dysfunction of organs. The rate at which oxygen is removed from the blood and consumed by cells and tissues is known as oxygen consumption. Oxygen that diffuses from the lung alveoli into the pulmonary capillaries can be detected a number of ways. As the majority of oxygen binds to hemoglobin, the percentage of bound oxygen, or oxyhemoglobin, can be directly measured using arterial blood gas analysis, termed SAO2, or measured indirectly using pulse oximetry, termed SPO2. After diffusing across the alveoli into the capillaries, a small portion of oxygen dissolves into the plasma. This creates an arterial oxygen tension, or PaO2, which is also measured using arterial blood gas analysis. When a pulse oximeter shines through a tissue bed, that light is absorbed by the tissues. Hemoglobin that is bound to oxygen, termed oxyhemoglobin, absorbs light at a different wavelength than hemoglobin not bound to oxygen, or deoxyhemoglobin. Since the goal is to measure the percentage of oxyhemoglobin in arterial blood, the pulse oximeter also detects the patient's pulse and discounts the absorption of light by non-pulsatile tissues. A ratio is then calculated and a percent of saturated hemoglobin is displayed on the pulse oximeter. Normal oxygen saturation is estimated to be above 94%, but the target SpO2 for oxygen therapy is above 90%. Some targets may be lower, for example, in chronic COPD patients, whose goal is above 88%. There are several mechanisms leading to hypoxemia. Hypoventilation from inadequate breathing will fail to bring oxygen into the lungs. Clinical examples include oversedation or central nervous system injury, such as a stroke or traumatic brain injury. Normally, ventilation noted by the letter V and perfusion noted by the letter Q are well matched. However, the term VQ mismatch results when either ventilation or perfusion are inadequate. Clinical examples include obstructive lung diseases and pulmonary vascular disease. A right-to-left shunt occurs when deoxygenated blood passes to the left side of the heart for recirculation without being reoxygenated by the lungs. Shunts can occur in the lungs or through heart defects. If oxygenation cannot diffuse from the alveolus to the capillary, there is a diffusion limitation. Diffusion limitation can be caused by inflammation and fibrosis of the alveoli or the interstitium.